Hello everyone, Sharif Abuzid here with a new video. If you are using Cadence Blocks to build your website pages, I have some good news for you today. With the recent major update of Cadence Block 3.0, you don't have to add an additional plugin to build your website forms. Because with this recent major update, Cadence Blocks has introduced a new block called Advanced Form that will help us design simple forms such as contact forms to advanced forms such as employment fields or employment forms and surveys as well and my job in this video is to show you how you can quickly use the advanced form block introduced in the recent major update of cadence blocks 3.0 now without any further delays let me show you how you can use this advanced form block now once you install the um, cadence blocks 3.0 and after this you have access to the under the cadence blocks you will have access to all the forms uh, um, section or screen and here you can design all of your forms and you can simply insert them inside any page which i'm going to show you at the end of this video so now let me start by creating a new form and just click add a new post and i think the cadence team um cadence team need to change this to be like add a new form or something uh, like this and here we can just give this post a name so let's call this contact form um one for example and here we need to choose a layout of the form they are giving us a number of templates that will help us start designing our forms without the need to start this from scratch so we can choose a contact layout and then for the style this about the uh, colors and fonts we can just choose the basic style and again we can give this a name and this is the title that or the we can give the form a title and this is the title that we'll be using to insert this form inside our website page so let's call this contact form let's say this website contact form and we can give this a description but i just disregard this and then click create here and once we do this we'll have access to uh, our uh, template or our contact form template if we go to the document overview under form advanced form we'll have that the design of this form is under a rollout we have a name field and an email field and then we have the message field and also the submit button field now if you like to add any um, fields here you can just click this plus button and add any uh, type of fields and also because the template is using the rollout to add the name field and the email fields we have the same controls or the options relevant to the rollout for example if you like to make this like a vertical alignment you can just click here and how now we can now we have the name field and the mid field in the vertical alignment position or alignment if you want to add a new um, field to this we just need to click this plus button here and here you will have access to some extra or additional fields such as select field check, check boxes number uh, telephone number and also under the advanced fields you have access to the file upload uh, field which comes with uh, as a paid feature uh, in most of the form builders uh, plugin but with the cadence blocks 3.0 you have access to the name field or the, fi the file upload field just for free and so we can add a time date accept our terms uh, an item or a field to accept our terms and conditions and also we can just um, and layout here and also we have some miscellaneous fields as well such as the recapture now let's say that i want to add another uh, field that asks people about maybe maybe their gender for example i can do this by going to the standard fields and let's choose the check boxes here and here i can just give this a label so let's call this gender and here i can add my options let's say male and let's add another option and let's call this female and these are my options right here if i want to add a let's say that i want to add another um two fields that look beside each other i can just click here again and for the layout i can choose the rolly out and let's say this is a two column rolly out and click here and add any other fields so let's say that i want to add the field the uh, phone number and call this phone number and here i want to add another let's say that which other field i want to add let's say the um ready button let's say i want to ask people a few questions other questions let's say salary salary um for the option one let's say um less than less than 2000 
and I can add another option here um, less than or more than 2000 and that's it even I can add more fields here so let's click here and let's add another field let's say that I want to add a number let's say expected salary for example I can even add it under the field label here I can say expected salary let's just fix this spelling mistake and now we have sort of an employment um, um, form or something like this all of these as you can see now we can have we can add different types of uh, fields inside this form now if you know if you want to move a field to be above or down for example under the name I like to have just directly I like to have my email field I can just drag it and add it here after the name field here or even you can just click here to change the position of the fields by uh, clicking this up and down fields like here so if I click, click here if I click here it will be go up if I click here it will go down so this is our uh, form here again if you go to the advanced form you'll find that we have a rolling out this rolling out has two sections one of them is uh, this is uh, a blank one I need to remove it so I just go here and I will make this one section or I give this rolling out a one section option now maybe you are asking yourself what about with the design options of the form make sure that you are choosing the advanced form block and here you'll have access to all of the style options of this form for example if I want to change the background of this form I just go to the background under the style I just click here choose the background color of my form let me just choose something more subtle for example such as this you know the idea so I like to make this like lighter so let's choose this one so this is the background of my form if you want to make uh, if you have access also to so you will also have access to other options relevant to the input fields if you want to change I mean everything inside this uh, this form you'll have options relevant to them for example you will have access to the input fields the labels radio and check boxes uh, labels check boxes and to help text background and messaging styling for example the error messages of your fields for example let's go to the labels if I want to make sure that um, the, uh, the font size of the labels is larger I can just choose medium now we have made the font size of all of the labels larger if I want to make this I think we need to make this um, male and female items also larger I can do this under the input field so make sure that you are choosing the correct options or the uh, correct item that you want to customize so let's go here and let's make this I think this will be under the font size again let's make this medium here I think we can go to the advanced fields no so I mean you can find it over here also if you want to make like a change or increase the row gap you can make it from here so you can make the row gap more between the items themselves and here if we go to the checkboxes we have options to the uh, label colors if we want to make this let's change the label color to be something like this so these are all the labels let's make the input fields themselves colors also like this you can change it like this sorry for the labels we need to go to the labels and change the color from here so I made this mistake I think we just can make this like a black so let's go and make this black and also for the input fields for the checkboxes um, let's make this also black as well now this is our um, contact form how we can add this to any let's change the submit button to submit or send your application for example okay um, so how we can add this form inside any of our website pages this is a very simple step you can just click update to save this and then we need to open a new page so let me click uh, a new page or open a new page for you so this is a new page if I want to insert my form inside this page I can just click here and search for form and make sure that you are choosing the advanced form block this is the old one or the classic form block which doesn't have all of these options make sure that you are using the advanced form here and then we can just select our form from here and then click select and here is our form here and just click publish and let's view the page 
let's see and this is our contact page here of course we need to make some more design to this contact form to make it uh, more beautiful but this is how easy you can create different types of forms for your website pages if you are using cans blocks without the need to add an additional plugin to your wordpress website if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and also please consider to subscribe to my youtube channel because i create similar videos that will help you create better and high conversion wordpress websites using cadence blocks cadence theme and other themes and plugins as well now thank you so much and see you in the next video